Hi, this video is the demonstration of the FUE donor scar. And FUE leave tiny dots of scar, allow you to wear your hair shorter. So, um, the strip method will leave you a linear scar permanent for the rest of your life. You can then wear your hair short. Um, there's always pro and con for both FUE and FUT. The FUE is not just less scar, less invasive, less bleeding, less chance of infection uh, when it compared to the uh, strip method. And uh, you can wear your hair short. Uh, and less com complication. The downside of the FUE, the cost is more expensive and the number of grafts you can do is less. We can do 2,500 to 3,000 grafts per day, although there are days I can go over 3,000. Uh, so the FUE is more expensive, the number of grafts we can do is less than the strip. The strip you can do five, 6,000 grafts per day. The other benefit of the F, uh, the other downside of the FUE the, uh, is the uh, growth rate. Now, I perform both FUE and FUT. You can have good results with both FUE and FUT. But if you combine my FUE and my FUT, the growth rate is 5 to 10% less uh, with my FUE versus my FUT. On the other hand, the strip method is not just a linear scar. The other downside of the strip method is more invasive, more bleeding, more chance of infection, uh, more painful during recovery. And you cannot wear your hair short again because the linear scar is very visible. But the benefit of the uh, strip method or the FUSS or FUT are uh, is cheaper and we can and number two is we can move a large number of grafts per day. We can go four thousand up to five six thousand grafts per day, um, depending on how elastic your scalp is. And it's, so the strip method is very effective for advanced hair loss. And again, I perform both the FUE and FUT. But the strip method is for advanced hair loss is cheaper and the growth rate is 5 to 10 percent better than the FUE. So this is the demonstration of the FUE donor scar after three FUE surgery ready. Thank you.